Hello guys. Okay, my name is Sesiga Majido Lalikon, and um, there was a video that we actually have on my YouTube channel that I've talked about VPS server and what you need to understand and how you can actually set VPS server up by yourself without much headache or tax and what have you. Then I've been able to now some of the feedbacks that I've gotten and I say thanks to everybody and the subscribers. Now we are like just growing and I'm very, very delighted. And if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe because there are so many guided information step by step, not in hidden, that we are going to show you and you can really work with it. Okay. So in the previous video, we talked about v, uh, VPS and shared hosting different amounts and prices here in Nigeria, across the world, and what is called managed server or managed server. The video is there in the description. You can actually look at it so that you understand the background to what we have. In this video, we are going to proceed a little ambition. We are going to be practical in all forms. So we want to look at setting up a VPS server, then we are going to do that live now. And we are going to get from the setting up, we must, for this one, we have to make use of a payment processor, which is PayPal. If you don't have PayPal, there's a pool up there, just comment, no, I don't have PayPal, yes, I have PayPal. And if you need a tutorial that will guide you on how to set it up, let me know so that I'll be able to put a tutorial that would help you. Of course, it's on my YouTube, it will be on my YouTube channel for you for free and just to add value. So once the payment is done, we've selected the VPS, what we are going to receive, what we are expecting to receive is our IP address, the username which is root, and the password of our server. Okay, that is just what we want to do. Once we've gotten that, the server is gotten, and please note, it is an unmanaged server. So what we are going to do with that is that we are going to pick that details, the IP address, the root, and the password, and we are going to install an, a control panel on it, or a panel administrator, administrate uh, administration on it. Whether control uh, for this tutorial, we are going to use Webuzo, uh, but the same we can actually use cPanel, WebMin, and whatever view. Just it's just a step by step process. So what we are going to do first of all is look at the description there is a link there is an affiliate link to contabu it's just an affiliate link it takes nothing away from you i beg you please make do of that link it's just to appreciate me and what I, what I do i really appreciate those who have been using the affiliate links and be getting benefits from this so make do use click on the affiliate link and it's going to take you to uh, is this the affiliate is going to take you to Contabo page directly? So I'm going to reduce my screen so that you'll be able to see what we are looking for. And basically, this is where we are going. All you need is a VPS server, okay? And we want a VPS server that is not expensive, up to like five euro per month, okay? For how much? For you are picking this. This is what you are picking for. It's uh, eight gig RAM, two hundred gig SSD, and four core. So it's very very okay. You can install so many. You know, business, the virtual businesses can come online. You can you know set up so many businesses with this solution, and your your virtual offices will be av available online without shared hosting. You are not dealing. You are not using any solution with anybody all the capacity the unlimited traffic everything the bandwidth everything you are using it alone and you can easily do so many things with such resources okay so what you need to do is just to click on this link once you click on this link and you click on that you select that uh, let me go back you select that package this package not this except if you need those this is just enough for us to actually get everything we want okay this is enough 200 gig at this is so much you know 
most of the websites that you see we share those things they don't even use up to two up to 10 gig okay but here you are talking about 200 gig so except you are even a phone with 200 gig add uh, memory card is going to collect so many files so it's so much for you to really do with and of course please don't buy this and just install one website or press on it you are underutilizing it so you should actually think of creating virtual businesses think big really build so many ideas and this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can get everything done in step by step order not in eating so you just pick this once you pick this call and all you need to do for this tutorial is select the operating system that you prefer to install on it and for this tutorial i'm going to just advise follow what i'm doing step by step pick cent 07 of course you can pick cent 28 but for this tutorial i'm picking cent 07 and once you pick cent 07 there's nothing else you are not picking any other thing there's nothing else you don't need all these facilities ssl certificate all this we would install everything step by step by ourselves for free or for a very ridiculous amount okay so you don't need to pick anything you don't need to pick any of these solutions you just need to know that what you are looking for is this cent 07 and uh, here you can pick an annual okay or payment and the total amount you are going to pay is just 58 59 dollars uh, 59 euro and uh, okay 59.88 euro let me just use that one 59.88 to naira so let me just see okay the total amount you are going to be paying annually per annum is just 24000 it's no more than 24000 and if you go and you go and look at vps vps in nigeria let me just pick any let me just pick any let me pick this let me pick this i'm not going to go f f big so let me just pick one vps okay with sent o's okay good and this one is coming with how many are this 20 are this 20 ssd are this 20 ssd and how much this is 5,400 per month so per annum that will be how much now look at this this is 150 gig of ssd okay and the eight eight ram 8 gig ram okay 8 core which is 8 core fine and it is at per month is 41,759 per month not per annum per month not per, per annum so what we are talking about is per annum of 8 on uh, 8 gig ram with 200 gig at this ssd is how much 24,000 24,000 okay but do do yes you are still going to install uh, an operating system which is part of what we need to understand after this server is cutting we are going to install operating system but in this operating system we want to install webuzo and if you go to webuzo if you go to webuzo that is the pricing of Webuzo, which is the operating system we want to use for VPS server per annum is just twenty-five dollars. That this operating system, there is a control panel the, uh, app application that we want to use. So twenty-five dollars plus this, okay, less than less than fifty dollars, less than fifty thousand, less than fifty thousand. You are going to get a complete solution without much stress so what you just need to do is to select the annual and you make another once you place another you are going to be asked to review all this you don't need to pick any domain you don't need to pick any any domain okay and you just need to submit this order once you because okay let me you are, you are a new customer so you have to pick me i'm an existing customer with them because i have some solutions that i've actually used and for clients i also use 
VPS server for them. So you just need to pick, uh, you are a private, that is a new customer, you just need to fill in all this. Make sure that your email is correct, the one that you are using, so that any information that they will be giving to you, you will be having your feedback on your email. So, and of course, you have to put your PayPal address and you acknowledge that every PayPal should be uh, be charged. Every PayPal should be charged with your with the second. This is starting with the second payment. Contable ch ch charge my PayPal account. Okay, it's going to be charging it. So automatically, there's the deduction will be entering into your PayPal account. So if your account link, if the account link with your PayPal has fund, it's just going to be going without any stress. So more or less like auto billing. Okay, and you have to acknowledge this and this. And you may decide not to take this. You may decide not to take the ad subscription, uh, the ad newsletter. But you can do that, and you will submit and review your order. So if everything is in order, you are going to receive an email whereby you would receive this information. Information that has to do with the IP address. This is the normal username and this is a password. So after this, you are going to uh, take this information, these three information, you are going to take it and we are going to install Webuzo, which is our operating system with this solution called putty so i'm going to do that now okay my payment have been made and uh, this was the message that i received initially so and now i i use my paypal and the confirmation had been made to contable so the next thing that is going to is the next thing i'm going to be receiving from contable now will be the ip address and this detail so it's going to take a very short minutes a very short probably some minutes uh, let me use the word for contable to really confirm the payments to confirm the payment and to get back to me with the details of a server prepared for me and with that being done i would be able to just proceed with my installation what i'm going to do immediately i receive that information is that i'm going to set up my uh putty putty is the solution that we are going to be using uh, because we are going to be working with linus and not uh, windows so this is what i'm going to be using in order to get to log in into the server and start installing my uh, control admin panel or control panel in my own case it's going to be webuzo okay and if you go to webuzo uh, sites if you go to webuzo sites let me just go to webuzo webuzo uh, no, 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 installation. So, if you go to Webuzo's uh, guide, they will show you how to actually do your installation and the procedure to actually get your installation done. Your requirements have been done. So, this is just what we need. You need your putty. To run your SSH uh, solution to the server, and you need to just run these commands, and you will get your Webuzo installed. And this is just these are just a thing that is remaining here in order to get this tutorial guide finished. So I'm going to do another video explaining step by step how this Webuzo can be used, how we can actually use. And of course, you can also use it on control panel. If you go to control panel, 